What's up guys, the Camp and Rusher here. Welcome to episode two of Factions Base Tour, a series where we go around the the Archon servers and look at the the smartest, the toughest, the most unraidable bases uh, on the Archons throughout the different servers. Today we're looking at Malo Malovint. I want to pronounce it right. Yeah, Ma Malovolent. They're top of the F list right now on Factions Black is where we're at. Uh, so the comment is from It's Absorbs. I told you guys last last video to leave comments uh, for your applications to be involved in this series, so your base can be showcased and you could be featured on the video. And tons of comments, tons of bases I went through, and this is the one I picked from uh, It's Absorbs. And here's his comment, basically: Hey, Rusher, I'm a helper on Factions Black and a mod in this faction. Our base is virtually unraidable, and he goes on to explain some of the different things. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it, get the stories behind this base, and, and just kick some butt today with this video. Thank you for the support on last video. Touch that like button if you're enjoying this series. Seriously, do it right now quickly. Boom! And leave a comment so you can apply for the next video and be featured in the next video. Alright, let's do it. So, starting off, they, uh, of course, this is not Factions Platinum. People have lots of extra claims, and they've got a great big freaking claim on this with, uh... Their faction being, uh, I don't even know how much, they, they, got a, they got a bunch of power though, I think, on this. They got 60 members with 600 max power, uh, they have 335 land with an extra 200 land to spare. And the cool thing about this base is not only the, the walls are good, they got a nice set of walls there uh, that would be very, very tough to cobble monster over. Uh, but they've got this big gap here. That, of course, if they don't get the Cobble Monster, shooting the Wither is going to be virtually impossible because it's so far. Uh, plus, getting over here in the first place would be impossible. And they've also, the thing I like, if they, they have two bases, and we're going to head inside. They've got one base there, and then they've got, like, their vault, their, their beautiful stuff down here. And, of course, I do have permission to show this stuff off, and we're going to get in a call with them later so we can get a better detailed analysis. But, yeah, that's that's really it. One of the mistakes, and, and they didn't make the ocean mistake. Lots of people think you got to make an ocean uh, that's massive. That's not what you do because you can, first, you can just swim to the base. Second, you can actually bring the wither through the ocean if you start them at the bottom and bow boost slash ender pearl. The ocean is a, is a big mistake that lots of people make here on the Archon. This is a nice setup for a base, and it would be very tough to rate it just because of the sheer gap that exists between the the main defense wall and the and the inner core of the base we're gonna head quickly to slash home v and jump in and we're just gonna look at it briefly here are we're gonna be get this is the owner right here it's ice cream we'll talk to him later uh and we're gonna go brief here they've got their heads set up they've got their, they got tons of heads and i like that i think heads add character add trophies you guys know in the main faction series we focus a lot on heads and just because it makes you look really cool let's be honest and this is this main part of the base is mostly of course used for the iron golem spawners One thing I like is the iron golem spawners are not far from the the work area I'll call it and what I mean by that Let me go into speed one here so I can slow down is say you're over here gearing up You're still able actually down here is a little different, but because it's not very wide if you're over here doing whatever brewing potions you're activating some of the golems so you don't even have to be afk and you're activating them all of course if you want afk overnight they're ready to go they've got their afk thing set up here and it looks like it reaches to basically all the rows i think you can get every single spawner from up here and they've got a lot of them of course we are going to do a base calculation i think last episode the base was worth around 20 29 million so we'll see if this base beats out the last base value wise and yeah that's a brief look at this one and then looking actually we'll save the the other part of the base the second part down there until we get in a call with these guys as we learn the stories and the background and and the time and effort and the value that exists within this beautiful base from Malov. i'm gonna pronounce that Matt wrong Malo malevolent malevolent there it is well, we are now joined by the owner of this base. It's Ice Cream. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's that's excitement right there, dude. This guy knows what's up on Factions Black, dude. I'm glad to uh, I'm glad to get to know you. Hello, and thank you for letting me tour your base. I'm gonna get right into the questions here, and we're gonna get the backstory behind this base and reasons for this, reasons for that. First off, I'm heading down. You're at the the bottom vault right now, right? Yes. yes, there you are. 
So what what is the idea of having like the because that's one of the most unique things about this base you have like a, a a space between the the bottom vault here and the top part what's what's your idea behind that? Oh, just because like we've been TP before, so if people TP the bottom part, it doesn't really matter because they can't get chests. Okay, and so yeah, so if someone breaks into one base, they're not necessarily into the second base. Is the thing. Yeah, exactly. And you can you can either and you can either get rid of your golems or the countless amount. Oh my god, look at these capels, dude. <laughs> these guys are loaded. So keep in mind, I haven't been on OP factions in over almost a year now since I did my main series on this. That kind of leads into my next thing is how much time and work went into the, the base in its entirety. The walls, the inner parts, etc. Uh, the walls took like a day, just the cowboy walls, but the inner part didn't take that long. Okay, like a day is in playing, 24 hours of playing time. Yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, dude. So these walls, guys, and they're, uh, yeah, again, I'm learning to base build as this series goes, but I, with napkin, I've learned a couple things, and this to me looks like a pretty hard wall to get through compared to some of the simpler cobble monster repellent walls I've seen before. A day, dude. So, and yeah, that, that's common. The walls usually take the longest time. And then how, what, what did you say for the middle? Not long, like a couple hours, maybe the two middle parts. Yeah. Well, me and uh, other people did the cobble walls. We just had like people that are good at building, just design the interior. Okay. And yeah. And how about the outer? Did it cost? Cause people wanted me to ask, uh, about how much time and effort. And then also how much money do you think went into this base? Not too much considering like we just had time to save up bedrock and stuff. And now we're just going to basically add it as we go. So add bedrock. And then, of course, guys, the endless supply of obsidian, because it's OP factions, uh, plays a, a different role in, in base building compared to the other servers we're used to. Uh, cool. Good. I, I wanted to ask that. So now we get to the good stuff. Who has gotten close to raiding this thing? How, what, are the, what are some of the stories behind it? Uh, the closest person that was raiding this was actually a mod that, like, I don't know, kind of uh, drifted away from us and like betrayed because he was uh, he was asking other, other people in the fashion. They were like, "Oh yeah, we'll betray." And then they were like, "All right." And it was perfect timing because uh, I was in school. And I got a scare message saying, "You might not want to hear this, but right now is the time that they're trying to betray you." Oh. And I was like, oh, "This is wonderful." Dang. So you so the closest this base has been to ever being raided is within your own faction. It wasn't even an enemy. Is how long? In total, has this base been up? Probably like a month to a month and a half. A month and a half, dude. I don't know. I think Napkin's ba Pandemic's base was around that, but this may be the longest standing base on the Archon we've ever seen, dude. Good luck to you in the future, my friend, and uh, thanks for allowing me to tour this base. I'm going to do some valuing and stuff, and uh, we're going to get the real value of this base. It's my favorite time of the video. The calculations have been done. And this base is worth so much money. <laughs> Keep in mind, the OP factions, black and white, uh, economy is way different than many other economies. OP means you can get stuff easier and the prices are still about the same. So you end up getting tons of cash and tons of cool stuff and... I miss OP factions, man. Like, it, it's intense. If you want to get geared up really fast, this is the place to come. But let's do this. Coming in with 124 Iron Golem spawners plus miscellaneous spawners. 28 sets of Prop 4. 4 dubs of TNT. 1,500 God Apples. Some, some miscellaneous stuff such as ores and whatnot. This comes out to a total value of this base. Not including the, you know, the time put into it and the money put into it. Just purely profit. $265,384,000 factions dollars, dude. What? What? Who are these guys, dude? This faction is rich. This base, keep in mind, has been up for over a month and a half. They have had time and time to build up these spawners. The spawners alone contributed to half of this, uh, this uh, value. So... GG dude GG to the entire faction and 
Man, I know there's some people who are out there who, who consider themselves like expert raiders. Well, <laughs> apparently this base uh, defies all odds, dude. And there's some other bases I've heard about on here that have like stacks of bedrock involved and such. There are so many bases. If you want to be featured in next episode, join the Archon, play any one of the faction servers, and build the best base you can build. With that, you just go down, leave a comment with your IGN, little description of your base and what color server you play on, and uh, you could be explaining to the audience what your base is, how it happened, and uh, showcasing your success off. So, there it is. Thank you for support on this series. This is Faction's Base Tour. Every Saturday, tune in, do your thing. 4 p.m. Eastern is the time. And uh, have yourselves a beautiful day. Join the rushes by subscribing. Touch that like button if you enjoyed. And I'll see you here on pvp.thearchon.net. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Goodbye.